Um, also, I want us to create another function that's just going to display results for us. It's going to display um, information. So, um, and this information is basically a weekly report, or you can call it daily report, or whatever you want to call it. But let's create a function for it. I'm going to call it print, oops, print um, weekly report. And print weekly report, what is it going to print? It, it's going to need the days of the week, oh, sorry, sorry the, the days of the week list, right? Because I want to be able to access those names, the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and display it in, in the report. So I'm going to say Monday sales are this, Tuesday sales are this. And also it's going to need the, the sales itself. So it's going to need the, 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 the sales stored in a list. So first let's pass in the days of the week. Um, list, uh, so that's our, yeah, the, the days of the week list. So uh, right now what we're doing is we're defining parameters, right? When we call this function, we're going to need to pass in arguments to it. So days of the week list, it's going to need that, and it's also going to need the daily sales list. Again, it doesn't matter that these names are the same. It doesn't matter at all. The scope of these variables or the list, okay, are within this print Week, uh, weekly report, okay, print weekly report. I wanted to call it weekly. Okay, the scope of these variables or lists are within this print weekly report function. And the scope of, you know, these other names, let's say this here is within this enter daily sales. This is within um, enter daily sales as well. Daily sales, this is within print weekly reports, the scope of that. And these ones are within the calculate weekly sale. These ones are within the enter daily sales function. They don't see each other at all, so you can use the same names. They are considered different if they are in different functions. All right. The next thing um, the next thing we'll probably need is a total, right? Because if it's printing the weekly reports, then it needs all the information. So I'm going to call this, it's going to, it's going to also need a total sales. Let's define a parameter for that. So total sales. And let's go ahead and start with the print statement. The first thing I want to print is some kind of header and I'm going to use all caps and I'm going to write something like weekly sale uh, weekly sale weekly sale report I guess weekly sales report sales report okay and I'm going to embed a new line character in this so it's going I'm going to embed a backslash n backslash lowercase n and a backslash lowercase n together basically breaks okay the line okay to the next line so it displays weekly sales report and then it moves the position from the end of report all the way to the next line and anything that follows okay this new line character it follows from the next line going okay so together okay it does that it breaks it moves the position from the end of the, the, the current line to the next line and anything that follows this new line character follows from the next line going so I'm going to add some dashes just to underline the weekly sales report and then we have the, we will have the days of the week list. We can actually go through that loop, and then the, okay, we can go through that loop and kind of access each day and basically how much was made because days of the week and to, uh, the daily sales will actually have the same length, right? Because the days of the week will contain the names of the of the days, and then daily sales will contain each sale, okay, each sale for each day. So they will kind of match in terms of length. Uh, there will be seven names here and there'll be seven cells here so we can use a loop that goes through the days of the week um, list and we can access you know the names here and we can also access the, the sales for each, each 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 day okay so let's go ahead and use a create a for loop and I'm going to do it similar to something uh, something you know something like this so basically I'm going to create a target variable which is going to represent each day so I'm going to call it so for for, for current day Okay, in range, I'm going to use a length of days of the week. So by doing this, basically, the first time the loop iterates, it assigns the value zero to current day. And by having zero, we can use that zero to access the element, okay, at index zero of days of the week, which happens to be Monday. We can also use it to access the element at index zero of daily sales which happens to be the total sales for 
day for, for Monday. When the Lupi trades again, <coughs> when the Lupi trades again, Karen Day is going to store the value one. And then when we have one in uh, in the body of our for loop, we can use that value one to access the next elements. Okay, all the, all the elements at index one of days of the week, which is going to be Tuesday. And also we can use that value one to access the total sales, okay, at index one of daily sales, which happens to be the total sales for Tuesday. And so, that, so that's the benefits of creating a while loop, like, sorry, a for loop like this. Okay. So what we what we'll do is we let's access the, the particular day we are on, the current day we are on. So I want to print out something. I want to print out the, the day, the day, and then the, the sales, the total sales for that particular day. So print. I'm going to pass arguments into this print function. And we know by when you pass an argument to the print function by default, that's separated with a space. So print out the, the current day. We have it. Oops, sorry. Sorry, this is a mistake. Um, we have the index here stored here, but in order to get the name, we need to first reference the name of the list and then use the index, which is current day, to access it. So we print out that, and then uh, I'm trying to think of how we should print it. So I'm going to say something like um, Monday's sales, uh, Monday sales. Uh, so let's do, uh, let's do something like Monday's. Okay, I'm going to concatenate. Now, this is going to be a string. We access in a string in the days of the week list. So I'm going to concatenate it with another string here. So Mondays, I'm going to do an apostrophe S, right? So that this, this entire thing becomes one argument in the print function, okay? So I'm going to use a comma here. So I'm going to say Mondays, actually, let's finish the string, Mondays sales. Okay, That's this is an entire argument in the print function. Monday sales, a colon, and a space. And then now, in order to access the, the sales for Monday, since I have current day storing that particular index, I can use it to uh, use it to access the sales for Monday. Okay. Here, so it's going to be the next argument to be displayed is going to be daily sales, and then the current day. And it kind of makes sense too, right? We are getting the daily sales for the current day, the current day we are on as we are trade to this loop, and also. Days of the week contain a, a lot of names, but we want the current day, so display that. So it kind of makes sense there too. So this is going to read as, for example, if we this loop I trace for the first time is going to say Monday sales, space, and then we display the particular sale, right? So let's we'll do that, and then once all this is done, we also want to display the total sales, right? So, um, so this line here, uh, I'm sure I'm sure you, you already know by now is a guideline for me just so that I don't exceed 80 characters on the line. It's a Python standard not to exceed 80 characters on the line. So this is a guideline for me so that I don't exceed it. That's why it's there. I can see over here I'm exceeding it. So I'm going to break this line into two. And anytime you're breaking a line into two, you have to first type a backslash and hit enter. Okay. So I type in the backslash and I hit enter. All right. So now it's the same line, it's just broken into two. Still doing the same thing. I just separate broke it to two so I don't exceed 80 characters on the line. All right. So by the time this loop I trade is done iterating, we'll have all the total sales. So we have all the sales for each day. Okay, so Monday sales, Tuesday sales, all displayed. After this loop is done, we want to display the total sales. And anytime we call this print weekly function, we need to also pass in the total sales. So we'll have access to it. So we can go ahead and print it out. So let's print it out here. And it's going to be first. The first argument I'm going to display is just a string saying total weekly sales. And then I'm just going to pass in as, as an argument the total sales that is going to be passed to this function when it's called. All right. So so it's kind of looking good. But I'm, I mean, if we have any errors, we'll fix it. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to define the main function. Now, the main function is going is where our program is going to be, okay? And so in most programming languages, the main function is basically where, where your program is, right? It's it's a function that calls every other function. And so in order to start our program, let's create a main function and then you know, call all our functions from there. All right, so I'm going to define a main function here. And then this is where now we're going to call, build our program by calling, calling our functions and, and other, other statements as well. 
All right, so the first thing we want to do, the program says design a program that asks the user to, ask the user to enter the store sales for each day of the week. We have a function for that. So we call it. So we call it enter daily sales. Now enter daily sales needs, we, de we designed it in such a way that it ha we have to pass in a days of the week list. So I'm going to create that list above it. So I'm going to call, create, uh, sorry, create days of the week. Again, it doesn't matter the name of this is the same as the name of that. The scope of this days of the week list that I'm creating here in the main function is within the main function. So I'm going to create the names of the week in, in here. So Monday all the way to Sunday. Alright, so I know I'm, I'm about to exceed this line here, so I'm going to break it by typing a backslash. Before you break the line, you have to type a backslash. So backslash, and I break it here, and I continue. So Friday, Saturday, and then Sunday. Alright, so we design this function in such a way that we have to pass in a days of the week list, which we have up here. So now we can pass it in. This function it needs it and also once we pass in the days of the week this function returns a daily sales list back to us right and so when it's returning it we need a place to start so I'm going to create first of all a daily sales again doesn't matter the names are the same the scope okay within the main function the scope of this daily sales list I'm about to create here is within this main function the scope of this one is within this, this function it doesn't matter okay you can use different names actually just to prevent any confusion but I'm using the same names so just so it's you know it's kind of logical all right so daily sales I'm going to create an empty list here empty list and then over here actually what I can do is um, if it gives us an error let me go ahead and delete this if, if it gives us an error we'll fix it all right all right, so this function here is going to return daily sales. We don't, I don't think we have to declare a daily sales, an, an empty daily sales list. If it's returning it, we can declare a variable here, right, called daily sales, okay, and receive what is, what, whatever is being returned, okay, by the enter daily sales function. It's, it's going to be a list, and so this variable here is, is going to hold a list, basically. It's going to be a list, all right, so we don't have to declare it. In this case, because it's returning a list, it's going to store that list in here in daily sales, which you know is something we just you know kind of declared here, right? But we didn't initialize it. Okay, so we'll have daily sales here. The program goes ahead to say that the amount should be stored stored in the list, okay, which we will have here. So it's returned. We have it. We have it in daily sales. Use a loop to calculate the total sales for the week and display the result. We have a function for that to calculate a weekly sale. Uh, you can call this weekly sales. Ah, I guess it's actually weekly sales. It's only one, one week sales for one week, right? Uh, wh whatever you call it, I call my calculate weekly sale. But you can call you know yours. You know, just make sure whatever you call it, whatever you define it with is what the exact name you you use when you call it. I called my calculate weekly sale, and so I'm going to ca call that function calculate weekly sale. All right, so let's do that. Calculate weekly sale. We designed, or we we defined calculate weekly sale to accept in the daily sales list, right? Which we have here above it, and so we can go ahead and pass in that daily sales list to calculate weekly sale, and we know that calculate weekly sale returns the total of the daily sales, right? It returns the total of the daily sales. So when it's returning it. Okay, when it's returning it, we need a place to store it. What it's returning is the total, you know, daily sales, right? And so I'm going to create a variable called total daily sale. Or you can you can also call it weekly sale. I'm going to create a variable called total daily sales, and I'm going to store whatever the calculate weekly sale function is returning, okay, which happens to be the, the, the total of the daily sales. 